A vast rock squats upon Favnir, and to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han. Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. Pass beneath its hot and piercing gaze, bearing down like a second midday sun. The fragrant haze, a mixture of sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors were once swallowed up by patchwork streets. But no such scenes to savor now. To what somber present does that divine eye bear witness? Here we are, Megadota. It seems a shame to bring you here directly. Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. Alas, it seems our tour of the city will have to wait. I'm afraid so. Come, we should head inside. Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors. Ah, splendid. Most splendid. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ahawan, satrap of Radzat Han. Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the Warding Scale. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have Young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, may I express to you our sincere gratitude. A regrettable incident indeed. 
Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman, that it will be instrumental in saving Nidana and the others. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. I think not. This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Nay, he hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. As you wish. You travel as assistants to the students of Valdesian, but you are known to me. Even here have we heard of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I am Vritra, and for years uncounted hath this Isle served as mine abode. Vritra, of the First Brood, sibling to Hraesvelga and Nidhogg, I, mine elder brothers, of Midgard's former spawn, I was last to hatch. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Harn had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great worm sat in the Sartrap's own hall. A necessary subterfuge as the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra, and Vitra alone. In time, the ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold, but never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Next to arrive with the Aura, Adopting the example of their Arkasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the Great Worm endured. Until marauding heroes from the mainland came, threatening to shatter our peace and tranquility when it seemed all would be drowned in blood. Vitra himself came forth and quelled the rising conflict. A peaceful accord was reached, and oaths sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state, which was to grow into Rad's Athan. But... If Ritra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... A charade, yes. And one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. Many envy the Great Worms their power. Were it known that I ruled here, then the fires of war would burn without end. I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. Those few who join me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, sworn to secrecy. Your eye, it was taken. Tis here. Buried within a semblance of flesh. The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisans of Razathan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my wind. Ah, 
That would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon upon our first meeting. I am woven with words fashioned to deceive such arcane senses. Though twas short-lived, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered, Estinian Warmblood. From the very first, we sensed the nature of one another, yet did neither one of us bear his fangs. That is all I need know of thee for now. With my secret thus revealed, I have for you a proposal. Not as a worm of the first brood, but as the ruler of Rad's Adam. With all haste must we take in hand the finished talismans and breach this foul spire. Thence, should it lay within our power, dispel its wicked influence. Yet even with the assurance of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the tower doth limit the size of our force. And thus denied strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see a sure path before. Thou didst cast down false gods in Pagalthan and Kartanau, I am told. Tis upon that strength I would call. The Scions have proven themselves the most capable, and I ask that you serve as the tip of our spear. Talismans would, of course, be provided for each of thy companions, and should you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided to make use of as you see fit. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Just think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. I worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Tis no trifling task that I have laid before you. Go, steal your hearts and hone your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protective charms. It seems a quick trip back to Charlian is in order. Will thou not lend thine aid? Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, I see no reason to refuse. Nor will I.